Hi, I'm John from Any Construction and you're watching Build with A&A. Today we're going to show you how to overboard a cedar. We're in this uh, Victorian property in Leamington and rather than rip down all this ceiling because it's going to make a lot of mess, we're going to just simply overboard it. It's often a more cost effective, safer, easier, cleaner way of doing things. It saves a lot of mess, dust can travel through the house really, really easily so the whole house will literally just get covered unless you blanket everything off. But um, we're just doing it this way. It's easy, simple, straightforward and today I'm going to show you how. First of all, if you look up, you can see that we've already started boarding the ceiling. Um, just to get a bit of a head start and get things laid out ready for you to see exactly what to do. But when you're overboarding, the main problem is you can't see where the joists are across the ceiling, so you need to find out where they are. So when you fix your board up, you get a perfect fixing. If you don't and you end up just fixing to the lath or whatever's above it, your board's just going to flat, fall down, crack, any number of problems. So you need to make sure you've got a solid fixing. All we've done is smack these holes and then you can feel above where you can see exactly where the joists are. We've got marks on the wall across exactly where they all are. And then we've done the same down the opposite side of the room. Then all you need to do is simply get a chalk line like this. If you're on your own, you can just fix a screw up with the ceiling, just like so, exactly where it is. Put your chalk line over and then walk down the other side, get it to the ceiling line, put your line across and ping it. And then that will give you I don't know if you can see it across here, a nice blue or whatever colour chalk you got lying. That way then you know exactly where the joists are right the way across the ceiling. Because it's very rare that they go straight, especially in all properties like that, they can go at a bit of an angle. So this way you know exactly where they are. So we're on to the next board. What we're going to do is measure up again, get the board cut, offer it up, see what happens and then we'll go from there. So against the edge of the board that you've already cut, measure across. We've got a 2.4 meter board, so hold it to the wall. What I'm going to need to do in that area there is just put a small piece in there because of how the boards fall, it's just the way it is. 2170. 2180. So it's important to remember which way your plasterboard's going. There's two sides for plasterboard. You've got the brown side here, the back of the plasterboard, and the front here. There's plenty of loads of different plasterboards. We're using a standard board for this, 12.5mm. Uh, There's different thicknesses, you can get a 9mm as well. Uh, you used to be able to get thinner, but I don't believe they do that anymore. Lots of different applications they can be used for. For this, it's perfectly fine just to use a standard board. You've got no reason to uh, protect against any extra fire or anything like that, because there's nothing in here that's going to make it flame. So you don't need anything like that. You don't need moisture resistant board, because again, it's a bedroom, so you're not going to have any moisture issues. Uh, we've used it all in there in the ensuite bathroom because obviously it's a bathroom so it's better to use that to protect against any water. You've got to remember then which way around the board's going to go when we're on the ceiling so you make sure you cut the right edge otherwise the board won't fit. So we know that that board's going to go up so this edge here is going to be that edge there. So I need to make sure that that is 2180. Tape on the end of the board. Go across, make your mark, and then this was 2170. Go across, make your mark, get your straight edge. Score the face of the board, just cut through the paper. Another cut just to make sure you're through. Move the board out of the way. Slight tap in the back of the board and bend. And there you go. You've got a nice straight line to cut at the back. Just like that. And there you go. Use your rasp, surform, whatever you decide to call it. Nice finished edge on it now. Position yourself so you're roughly in the middle of the board, that way. If there's two of you, it's easier, much easier when you're boarding the ceiling, so you can get one end each. If you're on your own, you may want to use a dead man or a board lift or something like that, which basically is a prop which holds it up, gets it in place, and then you can screw it easier on your own. Get some screws ready. The last thing you want to do is get up there, 
Not having any screws to hang, so you have to take the ball back down again. Okay, you ready, mate? All right, make sure everything lines up like that. Obviously, as we mentioned before, there's a bit of a bow in the ceiling, so it is going to be a bit of a wobble, but once it's fixed up and skimmed, it'll be fine. Once you've got a good few in, you know it's not going to go anywhere. You can move your hand, and then you're safe. Get yourself a straight edge. You know that your joist is going to be behind this screw, and your joist is going to be behind this screw, because again, you're following your string line. Straight edge on there, straight edge on there. Line across. That way then you know that any fixing that you make across that line is going to be on your joist. Very important that you fix onto the joist rather than just through to the lath behind it because this way then you've got a good sure fix in. Measure 300 centres, so every 30 centimetres there should be a screw. So 30, 60, 90 and obviously one either end. That way then, you're not putting in too many fixings or not enough, that's the perfect amount then with the equal spacings all the way across the board. Make sure the board's solid, it's not going to go anywhere. You're not going to put too many in as well so you damage the board. And away you go. Like I mentioned before, just so the head's just through the paper. You can go around afterwards with a scraper and just run it across the board like that and just check if you hear any metallic noises and you know it's too proud. Again, get your straight edge, line it up with either screw on either side, line across and measure your 300 centres, 30, 60, 90, and fix. also important to mention before we fix this last one up you might have noticed that the joints here are all staggered as you're running across the joist like that if there is ever any flex in the joist a crack may appear because there's movement plastic is solid so it may crack uh, it's important to stagger the joints because if you put them all together or in a big line then what's going to happen across that one joist you'll get a crack that will form all the way across the ceiling if you stagger the joints like this so, for example, you've got one here, one the next joist, or as far apart as you can, it prevents any massive cracks going across your ceiling. You may just get a small hairline crack that goes across, which you can soon feel, or paint, or whatever. But yeah, it's very important that you stagger the joints all the time. Plasterboard fixed up against the ceiling. We know we've got into all the joists, so there's going to be no movement there whatsoever. Literally continue that process all the way across the ceiling until you're done, and then it's ready to plaster.
Right, so we're all done with the ceiling, pretty much. We've uh, got it all cut at least. There's a tiny bit up in the corner there that you can see that we've had to leave out because we've actually ran out of long screws and the merchants is shut now. So all we've got left is some short screws, which Joe's using at the minute to finish off the stud wall. Yeah. Uh, we need 75 mil screws, like I said, for this. Uh, so yeah, but like I say, everything's cut. We're showing you now all the different steps you need to go through over more than the ceiling. So hopefully you'll be able to do it yourself. Any questions or anything like that, just leave them in the box below and we'll get back to you. Also make sure you subscribe to the channel just to keep updated with all the latest news and things going on with us. All right, take care, bye.